Hey you guys, good morning, happy Halloween. I'm actually filming this on Halloween. Hopefully, focus, yay, Halloween. Okay, it is Halloween morning and I figured I would do a little get ready with me because my makeup today is about as Halloween as I'm going to get. It's been quite a while since I put up a video. I'm going to try and have this up on Halloween night. I cannot promise that. I'm going to try though, because you know, editing time, things like that. But anyway, I figured I would come on here and do my makeup with you guys, cause if you're like me, you're probably staying home all day today. I do have to like run like one or two errands, but other than that, we're staying home, we're baking cupcakes, we're watching Halloween movies, because um, my state had 3,800 new cases yesterday and they're still allowing trick-or-treating, which to me is absolutely insane. So we are not participating this year and we are staying home where it's safe and I have a crap ton of Halloween candy up in my cabinets ready to bring out for the day and we're pretty much just going to eat junk food all day. I figured I would put together a really quick simple Halloween look in case you wanted to... Okay by the time this goes up it's probably going to be a little late to do this for Halloween this year but quick simple Halloween look. So my skin is freshly moisturized Let's go with the full foundation today. Okay, I'm using the Anastasia foundation in the shade 200W, and I'm actually trying out the It Cosmetics Love is a Foundation brush for the very first time. I'm very excited to try this brush out because I finally got my little hands on it, and we will see how this goes. Oh. Um. <laughs> hear that noise? From the water sloshing, you probably won't be able to hear it. Um, I need to go out and buy six more of these now. This is so good, yay! Oh, I'm happy. I'm so picky on foundation brushes. This is really nice. I think I still overall generally prefer sponges just because they're gentler on my skin. But wow, this is really nice. So what did you guys do on Halloween? Are you doing anything special? Are you doing like a drive through type event? Um, did you do like a virtual party? Like, did you actually do anything? Or are you kind of like me where you're like, oh, okay, we're just kind of skipping Halloween this year, even though it's my favorite holiday, one of my favorite holidays. And um, we're, we're just gonna eat a bunch of junk food. Cause it's, that's pretty much all I can like muster up the energy for at this point. Why are my ears so red? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have not worn earrings in like weeks. So that's probably why my ears are like, what are you doing to me? Okay. Wow, that works really well. And then I'm going to use my new NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in shade Vanilla. Just got this. Um, I did do a haul video. This is probably going to go up before the haul because I meant to get the haul up yesterday and um, apparently my time management skills are not what they should be, basically. So let's see how this goes with a brush. Mm -hmm. Okay. This brush is a little big for doing concealer. Maybe if your eyes weren't, like my eyes are pretty deep set. So using a larger brush doesn't always work great. 
but I can just use my fingers to tap at this concealer. You know it's frustrating the daylight to me about this whole thing now. Every single year for about the past four to five years, it has rained on Halloween. It has been cold, it's been rainy, it's been yucky, and just generally gross weather. Blue skies, not a single cloud. Still cold, but sunny as can be. And I'm like, we had to get Rona this year. The one year we get good weather on Halloween. Mm -mm. Okay. Uh, let's see. I did not plan this out well. I do not have my palettes picked out. All right. So today we're going to use the Morphe and James Charles palette because it's the only palette I have that has the shades of um, purple and orange that I want. All right, so let's see. Let's start by taking a large fluffy brush and just a skin tone color, popping that under my brows, which I still need to do, but we'll get there. Smaller brush. And we're going to start with this lighter shade of purple. And I'm just taking this right above the crease and blending it out just to make that blend a little bit easier rather than trying to blend out the super dark purple. Now I'm going to take this really, really, really deep purple right here. This color is gorgeous. And we're just going to pat that right on the outer edge. And I'm just doing tiny little sweepy scratchy motions because it's a very, very professional term, sweepy scratchy motions. And just blending that out a little bit. And um, no, I don't have any eye primer on. You can totally use eye primer if you want. I will probably have my makeup off by like 6 p.m. tonight. So I don't see the point in using eye primer. Just with this palette, you really don't need it to be honest, but if you want to, of course you can. I always try and make the shapes even, but this eye always ends up more rounded and this one ends up more pointy. It's, it's just the way they are. They're stubborn. Okay, same brush going into this really, really nice metallic-y purple. I'm stopping just before the inner third of that lid because we're going to put a different color there. I am getting a little bit of fallout, so I would recommend probably doing the eyes before your face, but you know, we're, we're living on the wild side here. There we go. And just make sure everything is Nice and blended. That's a nice thing about Halloween though. If you don't want to fully blend your makeup, you don't have to. Like, it's fine. No one cares. <laughs> All right, I am going to grab a teensy tiny detailer brush. And first I am going in with this pure white shade. I'm popping that down as a base because I want this color to really pop a lot. So I'm just laying that down just as like a brightening base. You could also use like a, uh, a NYX cream stick thingy if you want to. I know the name of it, I swear. It's just, it's too early. Bright orange, super bright orange. And just popping that on the air third and the air corner. And then I'm taking this all the way around underneath. And then we're going to leave the lower lash line completely blank 
because I want all the focus to be on the color pop on the inner corner. And you can do like any color here. You could do yellow, you could do green. Um, you could do like a sparkly black, could look really cool. Pretty much whatever you want. So I'm going to take a second and try and see if this fallout will go away. And because I don't powder underneath my eyes, it will not. So we're just gonna use our foundation brush to clean it up a bit. And now I'm going to add some matte glitter to that inner corner. I am using the Stila Diamond Dust glitters. I love these, or the glitter and glows. The liquid, you know what I'm talking about. Everyone knows these, they're amazing. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of that on the inner corner and then use my pinky to blend it out so it kind of blends with the orange a bit and isn't just like straight silver. I'm not sure if they make this in an orange or not, but I literally just bought the one that's silver and gold because I know I can use it over anything. So if you love glitter, but you don't wanna have like a ton of makeup in the house or you don't use it very often, I recommend getting a glitter that's a silvery, like a silver gold mix like this is. That way you can kind of just put it over anything and it looks good. It's one of my favorite tricks. Okay, I am going to curl my lashes and do mascara if I can find my eyelash curler. There it is. All right, and I am using my Maybelline Snapscara today. All right, let's move on to brows. I'm not doing any liner because the eyeshadow I think is enough and I have smaller eyes, so I'm concerned if I do too much, it'll just be, you know, not good. I am using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. Oh, by the way, I wanted to bring this up again. I know I brought this up in my last video, but if you haven't yet, please make the time, go and vote. Um, we did absentee ballot and we went ahead and dropped it off at our local board of elections because here in Ohio, the only places we have drop boxes right now is at um, the local board of elections, at least in our county. I know there was like some big court fight or something over it, but I think we only have one per county still right now. But um, if you do absentee ballot and you do not have it mailed in yet, absolutely do not drop it in the mail now. It will probably not get there in time. Get to um, a ballot drop box, find someone who can take you to a ballot drop box and get it dropped off there. So please, 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 if you're old enough, go and vote. It's, it's really, really, really important this year. I am not good at doing pencil on my brows, on this eyebrow. So they do not match today. That's okay though, because I'm going to be sitting on my couch all day. Well, probably not on my couch. I'll probably be like in the kitchen and then in my office for a little bit. And then I tend to float around the house a lot. Eyebrows are done. So let's just add a tiny bit of blush. I don't want a ton. I'm using Tarte's Party, which I'm pretty much using up at this point. Like this is the only blush I've been using lately just because uh, it's amazing and I love it. And if you have pale skin, this is gorgeous. If you don't like a crazy heavy blush, I am skipping contour today just because I don't feel like it and or highlight. Where did it go? I have like a stack of palettes on this side of me and it's it's ridiculous because I keep like losing stuff. Okay, 
Smashbox, the Smashbox um, Spotlight Palette in Pearl. This was a collab with Casey Holmes, and I still have a ton of this because it's an excellent, excellent highlighter. I'm using the middle one today. I'm just going a little heavier on the highlight because, you know, it's a holiday. And then for lips, I'm actually going to use a mixture. I am using Urban Decay Cream Lipstick in the shade Backseat, which is like this gorgeous pumpkin-y orange color, but it's not orange-orange, if that makes sense. It's just like pumpkin spice latte color. And then I'm just going to take my ring finger And blend out the edges. I like a softer blended lip when it comes to like a full coverage lipstick. And then I'm taking Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Lip Gloss because it's got a little bit of glitter and it smells amazing. And just popping that right in the middle. And you guys, I'm done. Seriously, this is the quickest, easiest, fastest, prettiest Halloween look. I love it. It's so simple. Um, you can do it with any colors you have, any eyeshadows you have. Of course, Halloween colors, but you know what I mean. Um, you can skip the glare if you don't have the glitter. And if you're working on Halloween, this is also like a work appropriate look if you work in one of those places where people are like, we really don't want anyone dressing up for Halloween, but you can kind of go like a little Halloween themed. This is great for that. Or if you're just like me and you're going to stay inside, in your little house and eat cupcakes and candy and basically your body weight and junk food and you just want to look kind of cute. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful somewhat, um, at least somewhat entertaining, hopefully. Uh, if so, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget, if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to my channel. You can also keep up with me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm pretty much everywhere, and all the links for those are down below. I hope you guys have a wonderful, amazing Halloween. I hope you are safe. I hope you are careful. Please, please, please be careful and think of your health and other people's health first before you think of things like having fun, parties, etc. Please, health is absolutely number one. Caring about other people is number one. So please keep that in mind and also make sure to get out there and vote. I love you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you again very, very soon. Bye.